Good morning, Washington Street friends. I'm happy to see you today. Today I'm going to show you a little craft that I learned when I was in grade school. And it starts with just a plain piece of paper. And while I'm folding this paper, I'm also going to tell you a story about what happened when Jesus, um, after Jesus was resurrected. So after Jesus was resurrected, he had some time with his disciples. And he was spending time with them, but they did not recognize who he was. And while they were talking, he stood up and said, Peace be with you. And when he said, Peace be with you, they recognized him. And they were very, very afraid. But what I want to talk to you about today is peace. And we talk about peace all the time. We use this sign to say peace. We um, use an olive branch to symbolize peace. And throughout scripture, we also have other symbols of peace. And one of them is a dove. So let's talk a little bit about peace and dove in the Bible. If you remember when Jesus was baptized, a dove came down from heaven, and God said, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. So it was a sign of peace from heaven that we saw that God was very pleased with his son when he was baptized by John the Baptist. And then, when Jesus was at the Last Supper, he told his disciples, I am leaving you peace. Peace not that the world can give, but peace that is a, um, it's something that only heaven can give you. And that peace was going to come through the Holy Spirit. And we th when we think about the Holy Spirit, we also think about doves. And on Pentecost, we might also talk about doves. But as you can see here, I have been working on making a symbol of peace, which is a dove. Some people call these paper cranes, but I like to call them doves, and they are symbols of peace. So as I'm showing you how this little dove works, I want you to think about how can I be a symbol of peace? What can I do to be a symbol of peace? That might be to be quiet when someone else is talking. It might be a pat or a hug for someone who is grieving. Or it might be stepping back when someone wants to have the first place in line, or if someone wants to get ahead of you. It might just mean stepping back. So what I'd like you to think about today is when Jesus said, peace be with you, that was when they recognized him. And when you show peace to others, they will see Jesus in you. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and fold our hands and say a prayer. God, help us to spread peace in the world. Thank you for the peace that comes from the Holy Spirit. Amen.